Hello YouTubers, it's Apra bringing you another unboxing and uh, it's a lovely, lovely, uh, sorry not on Monday, it's Tuesday, Tuesday afternoon or evening, it's blue skies and sun but no heat, the heat is missing, uh, typical for a uh, UK day that's supposed to be uh, it's supposed to herald the onset of uh, summer or is it spring I forget I don't remember now I don't remember anymore <sighs> can't remember when the last time I had a spring or a summer it was so short last year anyway on with the unboxing Oops, good thing I have my hands up the way. as all knives should be what could be in here uh, oh well let's open this one first let's put these um, peanuts back in here close this up for a second now I've been after one of these for, for a long time um, the place where I usually buy my knives um, is you know they were out of stock of this particular knife for a long 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 time and I didn't think they were going to get them in again but they did and I'm happy they did and it's the oops Kershaw Rainbow Leak 1660 VIB and I already have the um, chive version of this and I love it I love it very very much Which is the best way? So, uh, this way. Yeah, this way. This is the end. Come on. You know you want to come off. That's better. Gave it a pouch just like my chive. There's a bit of literature in there, but such risk. Let's have a read before I take out this and show you all. Important information about your new Kershaw knife. Congratulations on your purchase. Kershaw folding knives, opening a manual folder, blah blah blah, opening a speed safe folder, blah 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 blah. Okay, right on with the knife. Unveiling. Nice. 
that is a thing of beauty. Look at that. The finish on that. <laughs> I love the I love I really love these. I love these so much. These are brilliant. The chive I've got in the rainbow finish, which is a I'm sure people of first everybody knows what kind of coating this is it's a, it's a titanium oxide coating which gives it this rainbow uh, finish which was discovered by accident and they decided to go with it as a, as a uh, production model and they kept uh, they kept on doing it and I'm very glad that they did because it's it's just uh, it's just lovely it's got a nice weight to it I love I love knives with a bit of, with a bit of weight to them <coughs> Anyway, let's see if it actually deploys. Oh no. Is that a safety on? Yep, safety's on. Okay, there we go. Oh, it's stiff. Oh, I can tell it's stiff, yeah, very stiff. No problem with the thumb stud though. This <laughs> I know that this blade is sharp, so I'm just keeping my hands. Ah there we go. There we go. Look at that. That is fantastic. I loved oh. I've got the um composite leak. Uh, version of this and um, I was just playing with that the other day as well this knife will give you a serious cut okay let's put this away because I'll just keep playing with it and cover it in fingerprints so let's put this back into its little case for the time being I know you'll be coming out again so don't get too cozy. Uh, let's put it back in the box as well. Anyway. Alright. On with the next. The next one is also very, very special. Yes. That's right. It's a bokeh. And, um... In frame Boca knives um, they mm, people have been complaining about the fit and finish of a lot of their knives and uh, I saw this one and I had to have it number five four five Boca de Okay, let's open this up to Oh this is not gonna slide from the Oh it's not one of them. I have to take off the entire thing. Ah oh, damn it. Cool. Cool. Even cooler. Oh, that. <laughs> oh man, look at that. It's so tiny. That is so sweet. Look at that. That's obviously the uh, the Boca Pip Squeak by. Um, Mr. Neil Blackwood, designed by Neil Blackwood, the man who designed the um, the Benchmade skirmish and mini skirmish. Oh, look at that! That is cool. Look at that. I haven't even 
haven't turned it over yet because I love the finish on the other side that is amazing of course there's uh, Mr. Neil Blackwood's signature right there which I think it's a gargoyle very very nice <laughs> it's so diddy man it's like a little it's like a little pit bull and right up there is little little tail which kind of extends just a little bit you see And yeah, what people said were right, you can actually, it's actually quite comfortable. I've got, you know, not massive hands, but not, you know, medium sized hands, I guess. And um, it feels really good, surprisingly good. I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised, again. But anyway, all right, well, I'm not going to let this video drag on any longer. Um, otherwise, I'll just keep prattling on about this plate. But I'm going to I'm going to be playing with this for a while. I've been playing with both of them for a while, I think. These are really, really, really nice. Two really, really nice folders. Of course, there's no, no blade play whatsoever. very very smooth that is fantastic another excellent knife from Neil Blackwood and Boca Boca just need to f just need to concentrate on their fit and finish I mean they this one looks fantastic but it's got Neil Blackwood's name attached to it so you know anything in anything in uh, in in a designer's name you really want to um you know to be a hundred percent right you know but very nice I'll just finish off with some close ups Not dead center, but I am extremely happy with it. Excellent. Okay. That's it. See you later.